Research shows that the human brain can only focus or concentrate for just about 50 minutes. So if you are trying to study for an exam or you are trying to do some task that requires you to spend hours, don't be so hard on yourself, don't blame yourself, don't be quick to judge yourself just because you are not able to concentrate more than 20 minutes or even 10 minutes, right? Thanks to social media, Instagram and all these quick reels and stories, now that number has probably dropped. It's not even 15 minutes anymore, it's probably 15 or even 10 minutes, I don't know. Right? So whatever it is you are doing, especially if you are studying for an exam which requires you to focus a lot on a particular topic for, I don't know, hours. Try to reduce that number, initially at least. Okay? How about you try to focus on it or study that for like 15 minutes, 1-5 and then take a long break. Maybe come back to it later during the day. Right? Yeah, on paper that's gonna look very little time that you are spending on that particular subject or topic, yes. But if you do it consistently, over time, you might just notice that that number is going up. Now you are able to concentrate for let's say 20 minutes or 25 minutes or 30 minutes. The point is, the point is that you will be more productive. You will end up covering more topics and more importantly, most importantly, you are going to retain more of what you are studying. And think about it, over time that is going to have a compound effect. Right? You will end up covering more topics or at least whatever topics or whatever chapters you are covering, you will have retained so much about that topic or chapter that you probably not have to go back and revise it again. Maybe you will be able to answer a lot of quizzes or questions on that particular chapter. How cool is that? Right? Over time, you might just end up finishing the entire syllabus. Although initially you are spending very little time, 30 minutes or 40 minutes a day, that's okay. Just make sure you do it like clockwork. What do I mean by that? Fix a time, fix a particular slot in the day, even if it is just 15 minutes. During that time, like alarm clock, it's gonna go off and you are going to do nothing but just study for ACE or whatever it is that you're trying to study or focus on right now. If you do this consistently over time, trust me, you will have a lot of things covered and you will feel like you have just generated a momentum, right? And you're on track. And from that point, it'll, it is not going to be difficult to suddenly increase that time frame and spend maybe two hours or three hours a day. That will be easy or a smooth transition at that point. Just think about it for a second. Another tip is using strategies instead of willpower. What do I mean by that? You know, find out what works best for you. Maybe you are a visual learner. Maybe you are an auditory learner. Maybe you are able to retain better or you know, study more when you are listening to someone or talking to someone about it. Find what works best for you and put all your focus in that. Now, it's not necessary that everybody is good at reading through a book, right? So, reach out to people who are willing to be your, you know, accountability partner or study partner, you know, collaborate with them. Go to Facebook groups, you know, whatever you have to. But find a way that works best for you when it comes to preparing for ACE. Because strategies are going to be your best friend, I'm telling you. Not willpower, not blaming yourself for not being able to concentrate. Right? Look for strategies and see what works best for you. Look at it like a CEO of a company who is trying to solve a problem regarding business. Right? Do it that way and make this work. You didn't enroll for ACE just for fun, right? You had a reason behind doing that. Remind yourself of that reason if you have to. Find a way to make this work, my friend. No excuses.